I am gonna take my first bite right now. Mm. Good as is. Welcome back, Minion Squad! I'm Little Mare, and welcome back to another episode of Little Mare's Mug Bugs. You guys, another awesome, I want to say simple meal, but it's pretty tasty, so I don't want to take away from how awesome this Pad Thai dish is. I'm excited for this one because I have not had Pad Thai in the longest time, and finally, here we have it, Pad Thai, homemade. Yes, just the way I like it. So you guys, without further ado, let's get this party started, shall we? Let's dig in and I'll go through what goes into everything. So, I'm gonna take my first bite right now. Mm. Good as is but I'm gonna put some things that I normally do when I go to the restaurant. So this was inspired by a pad thai dish from a restaurant that I love going to and their pad thai was like my favorite pad thai. And something I'm pretty good at is tasting the dish and then recreating it at home and trying to make it as similar as possible. So at the restaurant I would add a little bit of poison sauce just to give it that like a little bit of barbecue sweet taste. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of my garlic oil of course just a little bit because as you all know I'm preggers and I've got to chill out on the spice just a little bit. But spice is good for pregnancy so And then I'm gonna put the regular garlic chili. Not the oil, just garlic chili. That's it, just a little bit. And let's add our peanuts. And we'll mix that all up afterwards. Squeeze in some lime. Have it all ready to go, just like how you would have it at a restaurant. Cannot wait to dig in fully. Another squeeze of lime. I have a vegetable drink, which is very good for pregnancy because it's got all sorts of yummy, delicious veggies in it. So you guys, mixing it all up with my peanuts. So there's shrimp, my mouth is watering. There is cuttlefish, there is chicken breast and shrimp balls. Cause I wanted to do it my way with all the goodies that I enjoy. And pad thai is one of those amazing dishes that you can add kind of your little own flair to it. Cause there's so many kind of like different ways to do it. In my culture, we would call this Mikala. Another one I want to make is Mikabang, which is, I believe it's like the beef noodles, but the thick beef noodles. So here you go, first bite. Or second bite. Mm. Mm. Cut a fish. Cheers guys. Everything is hitting the spot. 
and I wear red <laughs> just to go with the red drink and then Pad Thai looks pretty red as well. There's bean sprouts, red peppers and onions. Mm. I use cuttlefish instead of squid. Shredded carrots and green onions as well. Mm. So good. So you guys, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, click on that bell notification so you're notified every time you put a video out next, and guys, be sure to share with friends and family as well, it helps a lot and I really appreciate it, so thank you. And I just want to say thank you to all those that comment down below, I appreciate it so much. And it's so motivating because it helps to keep the person going and knowing exactly what you guys want to see. Thanks for that lifting. And thank you to all the current and new subscribers as well. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Moon Squad. Justin had some earlier. He said it was pretty good. He really enjoyed it, so that's a thumbs up for me. Of course, fish sauce and wine. I used a paste, a Thai paste, that already had a lot of the mixture in it. But remember, it's just a base. You've got to elevate it, right, and add your own touches. I also used ketchup. I know it's not authentic to use ketchup, but it gives such a beautiful color. And honestly, to me, it doesn't take away from the taste. Because as long as you do the fixings and make it sweet, sour, and slightly salty, like just a balance. It's not going to take away. I don't even taste the ketchup to be honest with you. Because I didn't overdo it, I just wanted it for the color. You can have tofu in it. And when you order at the restaurant, you can have it all seafood, you can have it just tofu, or you can have it just chicken breast, or you can have a combination. I did a combination. And of course, I use rice noodles. And you just gotta play around with the flavor and adjust it and make it just right. And the eggs. I cooked it separate. I know you're supposed to cook it with the noodles as you put everything in, but I didn't want it to muddy up the eggs. I wanted the eggs to still look really nice and yellow. So I just added it separately. I cooked it and scrambled it. And I've done it the other way as well. It's just as good.
I think if I made this for my mom and my family, I think they would love it. Because I don't think they've tasted it quite like this. And you gotta have your peanuts. Olive oil. I used olive oil. And a little bit of vegetable oil. And garlic. Onion. I hope you're all doing well and keeping your spirits up. You guys, remember, we can get through anything together. Nothing but love. And unity. That's what I truly believe inside of my heart. I think as humanity sometimes we forget that. But we're one family guys. And food, that's why I love it so much because there's no borders. Food is so exciting. And seeing each culture do their own thing with the ingredients they have. It's amazing. Mmm. I have to say a shout out to Ian and Tammy. You guys gave us such awesome eggs. They have been so awesome. And they have chickens and they have eggs like almost every day and they're organic and there's nothing like organic. I used egg in this. You can taste such a difference. So, shout out to you guys. Respect and thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're making all sorts of goodies with the eggs too. That's my dream, to kind of live out on a farm somewhere and grow your own vegetables and have your own chickens and animals. Not a crazy amount, just a nice little amount where it's like, you know, you can go and milk the cow or something. I've helped my mom and dad in their garden, so I really like the process of growing peppers and cucumbers and tomatoes and so many different things.
cuttlefish. I cooked the shrimp, the cuttlefish, the chicken. And the shrimp ball and blanched it separately. Then I added it all in so it can absorb all the flavors. Mm. Just the perfect amount of spice. Not too crazy. Mm. Wow, this was so good. I have to take every last bite. So you guys, thank you for joining me in this awesome Pad Thai Mukbang feast. Until we meet again, you guys, and until we get together again, I'm Little Mia. I love you guys. Peace.